how you doing? My name's Rob. I do Griffo's camera work. And guess what? I've got a snake in my own house. Uh, I just went away to do something in the kitchen, came back, and there's a big green slidey thing in my house. So I gave Griffo a call. Uh, he was not contactable. So guess what? I'm going in myself. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm not going to be stupid about it because, you know, I've watched Griffo and he's taught me some things and I know our safety precautions. So I'm going to put on my big boots. Look. That's right. Get on some thick jeans because uh, generally uh, fangs can't penetrate a good pair of nice thick jeans. I'm pretty sure it's a green tree snake. I'll just uh, move some stuff, have a look. If it looks dangerous, I'll do nothing. Otherwise, I'll see if I can bag it myself. All right, so uh, let's have a look this way. That there is just a corner where stuff gathers as stuff does gather. And uh, I heard a noise, uh, had a look. The snake was there. I went off to ring Griffo and uh, can look back at me. Yeah, he wasn't there. So I've come back down. Uh, can't actually see the snake anywhere, but how about I get kitted up and then we'll take it from there. Okay, I'm back. Now look, no silliness here. Okay, so I got my boots on. Uh, I got my jeans on. Now somewhere in here, is a snake that wasn't invited. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna be stupid. We're just gonna have a look. Uh, now, when it came in, it was pretty active. If you look outside, it's a nice sunshiny day out there. So you can be pretty sure that the snake is uh, all warmed up and uh, it was pretty active. So we'll just uh, try and locate it first and then take the next step. Who knows, Griffo might show up and save the day. Alrighty, it's exactly where it was before. There's a guitar case, let me see. I'm trying to frame myself in the camera. That way, there's a big square guitar case. And uh, that's a really good point, actually. It's really hard to concentrate on doing camera work and dealing with a potentially lethal animal. Uh, that is why when we do our snake stuff, Griffo just concentrates on the snake and I just concentrate on the camera work. Uh, he does do some of the camera work actually, and he's doing it pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this guitar case. It's uh, just passively sitting there. I have another camera. I'm gonna set that up and I'll be back. So this thing here is what I call my set and forget camera. It's not the greatest resolution. Let's get a nice little plug in here for JVC. All right, cool, Mr. JVC. Thank you for your little camera thing. Uh, so that's going to set. Just stay there. If I pull back like this, the snake is behind said guitar case. I'm going to move the guitar case, and we'll just uh, see if uh, there's any activity from the snake. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the road. My telescope, which I don't know how to use. Let's move this out of the road. Let's stick it over here and try not to break it. Let's get rid of the chair. Get rid of that. Let's grab this up the top as far away from the pointy end of the snake as possible. Hand up here. Snake is down there. Let's just pull out a bit. And... There we go. It does have the yellow belly, which is common to the green tree snake. Uh, and also we do get a lot of them around here. I'm saying best option is move that block of wood, open the door and use a broom to slide the snake out and it can go off into peace. That snake, uh, it's probably still really warm, so it's gonna be really active. Uh, this part is where I'm going to put this camera on a tripod 
so that I'm no longer thinking about camera, I'm just thinking about the snake. So I'm all set up with the tripod. Do you like my toolbox? That's my toolbox. Um, snake is over there. Camera is just there. Stick is just there. In theory, very easy. Now look, uh, this is one of those don't do these things at home things. It's just that, uh, A, I'm pretty comfortable with snakes if you've seen some of the other footage like, you know, it's just doing defensive stuff now. I'm pretty sure it is a green tree snake, the, the markings on the scales do it, but you can see that uh, it's obviously startled and not happy. Uh, so uh, here I am. If it was Griffo, he might approach this a whole lot different. I want to stay alive. I want the snake to stay alive. And uh, if I can just encourage it to go past that little camera, which would be like awesome footage. No, don't go that way. And there we go. It's over there. Complete opposite way to the door. Griffo's told us before that snakes, generally speaking, all they want to do is get away. We can see it in action now. I'm right away from it. I'm not doing anything. It's just uh, looking for its own way out. Unfortunately, it failed. Uh, it's lessons on how to use the door at school. Apparently it's not related to raptors at all. We're back where we started. That's where uh, I was rather surprised by him. It's obviously looking for a way out. Uh, just it and I are not communicating so well. By the way, these boots they're really chafing. I just want to encourage it to leave. I have managed to get in contact with Griffo. He's about an hour away. Uh, and so we, um, I, read, I described the snake to him. Now I have worked with uh, him uh, with green tree snakes. Uh, I described a snake fairly accurately to him, uh, its colors, its mannerisms and behavior and things like that. Uh, we're pretty certain that uh, it is a green tree snake, so uh, chance of uh, fatality is pretty low. Uh, still, you don't want to get bit. Uh, he suggested I try and catch the snake. All right, he gave me two options on how to do it. One I'm not going to describe because it involves me getting close to that and uh, even if I felt comfortable doing it, once again, you don't want to teach people bad things if they don't have experience with reptiles, which, yeah, like I have. Anyway, um, so I'm not even going to explain that option. The other option is someone uh, else is going over to Griffo's house. They're going to get the, the claw thing. And so I can catch the snake with that and hopefully bag it. And then uh, he can have a look at the snake when he gets back. So right now the camera gets turned off and uh, to be continued. Okay, uh, as you can see in the background, I've gotten rid of every possible obstruction or hazard and uh, somebody else has gone to get the snake catching equipment. So uh, even though I've got my back to the snake, my little screen up there is turned around. So I'm looking straight at you, green thing. And uh, we just wait for the equipment to get here. We should be able to catch it. The claw thing, yeah, I feel pretty comfortable grabbing it with the claw. The hard part, and especially like watching Griffo, is not the catching the snake, it's getting it in the bag. The snakes just don't want to go in the bag. Yeah, I probably wouldn't either. So uh, <laughs> next time you see me, it'll probably either be dancing a jig or in a hospital bed. <clears throat> Alrighty, I've got the gadget. See what happens. I've never actually done this, and I don't want to annoy it. Alright, you missed out on some of the fun stuff, but in this bag we have one very unhappy snake. It'll chill out. We'll uh, 
when Griffo gets here, he can take it out, show it to you, and uh, tell you what I did right and what I did wrong.